A few minutes ago, oh, more than that now, George McGovern came downstairs into the lobby of the Doral Beach Hotel. All day, demonstrators from the SDS and other organizations have been demonstrating and blocking the lobby of that hotel, demonstrating in it, and McGovern came down in his shirt sleeves to try to answer some of their questions. It has been quite a scene. Uh, it took a long time to get the young people to sit down. And here, in this mixture of bodyguards, campaign aides, and angry demonstrators, George McGovern is answering questions and sticking, I must say, to the positions he has outlined all year. And, you know, this is, uh, this is a memorable comparison with four years ago, when on the night of the nomination, George McGovern looked down from a hotel room in Chicago and saw young demonstrators. And now, just a few hours before his own nomination, he comes down to, to try to talk to them after having seen to it that earlier in the day, police force, police confrontation was not permitted against them in this lobby. And he now faces one of the strangest caucuses a politician has ever faced. How do you feel about abortion? Senator McGovern, abortion. What's your stand now on the abortion issue? Abortion. Right. And also gay rights, which you have helped defeat the other day. This must be the last question. We made an agreement to come down for half our Let me comment on this question. My position on the abortion question is that it must be... ...to shake me down. What did you tell him? ...to leave his delegates free to vote to their own choices. He said that he would certainly support and would campaign for the candidate for the party this year. Son in law is in the glass. And I'm going to stand on that ground. I would like to ask one question. As you know, a number of our brothers from the VVAW, the Vietnam Veterans Against the War, have just been slapped with very strong indictments from a grand federal jury up in Tallahassee. And a lot of us feel that the VVAW brothers did come down here to speak for the people. And now they're being subpoenaed, and now they're asked to appear. They're, they're asked to spend their time uh, appearing before a grand jury to ask questions that we find totally untrue and unfold. What, what, the, the question is, what uh, do you plan to do about uh, the VVAW brothers, and, and what is your feeling about that? So again, you're asking me to comment on a legal matter where I don't have the facts. I, but, I, this, was, this was introduced in the form of a minority report onto the Democratic floor. So obviously they feel a concern. What is your concern, Senator? Well, I'm concerned any time I think an injustice is done, but I cannot comment on this particular case because I don't know the facts. But let me just say, uh, let me just say, folks, in conclusion uh, here tonight, and I do have, I think everybody here can appreciate that this is a very heavy day for me and a heavy night. There are many things I have to do, but I want to say this. I can't, I can't possibly agree with all of the demands that I know are in the minds of many of you here. You do hold different positions on some of these issues than I do. I did come down because I wanted to manifest the possibility of communication between us, even if we have our differences. And so let's, let's have an understanding that while we do disagree on some of these questions, there isn't any disagreement at all about the desperate need to improve communications in this country. And if it's you... in this convention and in the procedures of our party. It is a more open convention. It is a more open party than it was four years ago. And if I become the president of the United States, I think this is going to be a freer, more open, and more decent country. And I'm asking for your help towards that end. Thank you very much. That was Senator McGovern in the lobby of the Doral Hotel of Miami Beach talking to and listening to a group of protesters who have been in the lobby all day, blocking the entrances at times, to object to what they believe to be a change in his position on, on Vietnam. 
He came down and said, no, it was not a change. He dealt with a few of their questions, as you heard, said good night, and left. Here in the hall, in the meantime, Senator Humphrey has come in, having withdrawn from the presidential race, is in a box down front to the right of the chairman, with Mrs. Humphrey on his left, with Lorne Green there, the television star, along with him. There's a huge crowd gathered around in front of his uh, box. And the uh, chairman, Larry O'Brien, is now trying to get that aisle cleared so the convention can go on with his business. 